Okay, so jab, 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 right hook. You know, yep. give, 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 offer. How do you know what the right right hook will be? Like, how do you know what that will be? How do you validate it? Uh, because a lot of people, you know, they jab and then they get to that right hook. They don't know how to prepare that punch. They don't know, you know, if it's going to succeed or not. How do you best determine if that right hook's going to land? You know what's really funny? I would actually go a different way, Pat. And for everybody who doesn't know the context, you know, my thesis of jab, 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 right hook is put out content for them, put out content for them, put out content for them, and then ask for business. And so you've got your, you know, your world and you're setting up a lot of street cred and a lot of equity by putting out these shows and hustling. And here we both are on a Sunday, right? <laughs> With families and, and football, football and all these other things. And we're working. I mean, I don't know what else anybody, I don't know if anybody's confused right now, but Pat, you and I are working. Are. And so... Um, people value that, they get good information, they get access to people, that's what you create and a lot of that stuff. And so it sets you up for a seminar, a book, a product, whatever you may be up to. Uh, here's what I'm gonna say that's gonna make everybody feel better, Pat, you included. Don't be crippled by your right hook not landing. You get more at bats. See, that's the beauty. Mm. When you give a lot, I love this because I learned it a lot from you. It's just just the, one of the best ways to succeed is just, just care, give a crap. Right. And that's something that unfortunately a lot of businesses don't do. In today's age, what is the best way to give a crap? How do you best show that you actually care for your audience? Oh, I got a good one. So I wish I had a better prop since I don't wear a watch. Mm. The number one asset to our audiences, and by the way, you and I have ascended to a level where we have substantial audiences. I just want everybody listening, and I watch a lot of you, and I saw the people that jumped in, you and me just tweeting each other, and they're pumped. Yes. They have their 300 to 700 to 1,000 personal. If you have nine people that follow you, and your advice, or your thing, or your spiel, my wine reviews, your business, whatever it might be, you already now have an audience. So this is not the audacity of two people that have made it to some level. This is for everybody from a practical standpoint. The number one thing you can do to your audience is give them access. The one thing you and I, Pat, don't have is time. Mm -hmm. Right? We don't have it. I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm mean, i so much happier to give a charity a $10,000 check than I am to give them an hour, and it's not even close, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, that, and, and that is the one thing, and by the way, that's my financial situation right now. Somebody may say, you think about everybody who's listening, you'd probably rather give a $50 check to the local charity than three hours of your afternoon, or even 30 minutes. Time is the asset. Pat, my answer to you and everybody else is time. When you do that, you are building such a deep connection. When I tweet out, what's your phone number? And then I sit there and I just call people and say, hey, they freak because they know the number one thing I'm giving them is time. How the do you, number how one do you thing break I through and, and stand out? First, first, you have to build a great app. And I'm gonna say that again with, with dramatic pause. First, you need to build a great app. And there you go. Uh, you know,